God bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are welcome once again to our daily charge with Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. It is well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for your kindness and your faithfulness. Thank you for the joy and the privilege you are giving us to be your children. Father, be magnified forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ. In this day, Father, we come again to you in this special program, Daily Charge. Lord, take all the glory forever in Jesus' name. We soak our lives in the blood of Jesus Christ. And we ask that the precious blood of Jesus will purify and sanctify every other of our lives in Jesus' name. Father, as we continue, take absolute control. Holy Spirit Divine, come and bless us. Come and renew us. Come and revive us. Come and fill us with your fire and your power. Come and challenge us and teach us what we should know. Give us your own strength to apply that your name be glorified in our lives. Thank you, Father, for answering all our prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ, powers assigned to oppose, Holy Ghost, fire, silence them forever. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Shout hallelujah, hallelujah. I want you to bring out your devotional booklet a mountain top life daily devotional and i want you to open to the place that we have for today being monday the 19th day of february in this year 2024 our topic for today's daily charge says enemies of the family selfishness enemies of the family selfishness that is we are looking at selfishness as a specific enemy of the family specific enemy of the family our memory verse is taken from first john chapter 3 verse 17 and it says but whoso hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him. How dwelleth the love of God in him? What is our memory verse talking about? It's telling us that if somebody has all the goods of this world, all the blessings of this world. And then he sees his brother or he sees his sister that that person has a need and is suffering. And yet, this particular person that has a lot of wealth and riches refuses to help his brother or his sister that is suffering. He say, how can you say that the love of God is dwelling in the heart and in the mind of such a person. That is what the memory verse is talking about. What is our motivational quote for today? It says, be an angel, both at home and in the street. You know, there are some people that are very good outside. They will help others. They will help outsiders. They will help strangers. But when they come to the family they come from, their brother will be suffering, they won't help. Their sister will be suffering, they won't help. Some won't even give their parents. But they pretend to be very good and they dash people outside. And outside people will say, oh, that man is very kind. Oh, that woman is wonderful. So generous. But at home, they don't help their family members. This is very bad. The prophetic word for today says every spirit of family destruction assigned against your family, it shall die in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our fire scripture for today is taken from James chapter 2 verses 15 and 16. I want you to take your Bible, open to James chapter 2 and let us look at verses 15 and 16. 
I want to read from verse 15. It says, If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What does it profit? That is the question that the Lord is asking us through the Holy Spirit in the scripture here. He says, if your brother or your sister is naked and doesn't have food to eat every day, and then somebody says to him, Go in peace. Have good clothes. Cover yourself well so that your body will be warm. And chop well. And yet, the person that is saying this thing is able and capable. But will not take some money or some food and give to the person that is hungry. He says, what is the advantage? What profit is this kind of attitude? both to the person that is doing it and to the person that is talking to. How is it profitable? This is hypocritical. That is what the Lord is talking to us about. That in our homes and in our families, we should be able to help our relations. We start by making a few definitions. Who is an enemy? An enemy is one who feels hatred for someone. One who fosters harmful designs against another. One who engages in antagonistic activities against another. An enemy is an adversary. An enemy is an opponent. An enemy is a foe. Now, what is a family? A family is a basic social unit consisting of parents and their children. And they are considered as a group, whether dwelling together or not. A family is a household. What is selfishness? Selfishness is the quality or the state of caring only for oneself or one's own interest. Selfishness is greed. Selfishness is stinginess. Selfishness is self-indulgence. Selfishness is self-centeredness. We want to mention here that selfishness is a serious enemy of the family. Selfishness is a serious enemy of family relationships. The will of God is that Family members love one another. The will of God is that family members care for one another. Actually, that is one of the main reasons why God places members of the same family in that particular family. So long as God has placed you in a particular family, the Lord wants to use you as a channel of blessings to the members of that family in various ways. A standard family is made up of the father, the mother, and the children. This standard can be varied for one reason or the other depending on situations or circumstances. We shall go for a short break and we'll be back soon. God bless you in Jesus' name.
Amen. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9, available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Live Daily Devotional, Volume 9, a life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. You are welcome back to our daily church. Remember today, our topic says, Enemies of the family, selfishness. That is, looking at selfishness as a serious enemy of the family, of the godly home. We have seen that the family is made up of the father, the mother, and the children. Then, we find also that in some situations and circumstances, this particular arrangement of a family can be varied depending on one thing or the other. Yet, it is the will of God that all members of the family, that family, that they love one another, and that they care for each other. That is what our Lord Jesus Christ spoke of in the book of John, chapter 13, verse 35, where he said, By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if you have love one to another. The love that our Lord Jesus Christ is talking about here is not love just by mouth saying, I love you, I love you. And yet you can help the person and you are not helping. That one is not love. It is hypocrisy, hypocritical love. In fact, Somebody has wisely stated that love is genuine love is not necessarily feeling, but commitment and self, selfless service, self-sacrifice. That is what you are able to put into that relationship. It's a practical demonstration of real love and genuine love. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 states, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, and so on. So you see that it is the will of God that in a family, selfishness should not be there. Members of every family should look out for one another, should bear in mind the situations and circumstances facing each other, and help each other, and encourage each other. 
and help each other to bear their burdens. That is why God put them together as a family. In the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5, verse 8, the Bible says, But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. That is the word of God. Say that if somebody, a child of God, refuses to provide for his own family and he has the capability, he has the capacity, he has the wherewithal, he has the resources, he has the means of helping his family members, of providing for them, of delivering them from hunger and suffering, of delivering them from hardship and difficulty, of delivering them from penury and squalor. And that particular person, a member of the family, hardens his heart and refuses to help his relations. The Bible says that that person is, war, is worse than an infidel. An infidel is an unbeliever. An infidel is an idolater, an idol worshiper. God have mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Today the Lord is talking against selfishness, self-centeredness. A person thinking only about himself and cares for nobody again. The Lord is saying that that is a serious enemy of family and family relationship. Selfishness implies that the individual in the family who is blessed and has resources and means refuses to help or assist other members of the family who do not have the means or the resources. This is not the will of God at all. The will of God is that those who have should stretch out the hands of love and assistance to those who do not have. Galatians chapter 6 verse 2 says, Bear ye one another's burden, thereby fulfilling the law of Christ. So helping one another, both in the family, in the church, wherever you are, lending a helping hand. The Bible says that this means fulfilling the law of Christ. So, when a family member assists other members of the family, he is fulfilling the law of Christ. That is obeying the spirit of Christ. The Bible says, that he who has the means and wherewithal to assist his family members and refuses to do so, that he is worse than a sinner. This is a very strong indictment. There are many ways a child of God can help his family members or relations practically. Such ways include the following. You can help in paying school fees of those who cannot pay their school fees. You can help to pay medical expenses, medical bills. You can help them to buy medication. You can pay house rent for your relations. You can give them money for feed, feeding allowance. You can supply your family members or relations uh, food items. You can buy clothes for them or give them money to buy clothes. You can give them means of transport. If it's possible, give them car if you have the means, the wherewithal. 
You can provide a job for your relations, for your loved ones. You can provide for them sources of income. You can give them staff of bread that will give them means of livelihood. You can give them advice. You can counsel them and, and you know, advise them in, in a way that will benefit them and their lives will become better. You can give any form of assistance so long as it is assistance needed by family member. You can, and this is very important, you can lead them to our Lord Jesus Christ. Help them to become born again. Help them to know the Lord. Actually, by this kind of helping and character, when they see it in your life, it is most likely, even with prayers, that they will give their lives to our Lord Jesus Christ. That is why the Bible says, in the book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 36, For what shall he profit a man? if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul. And what can a man give in exchange for his own soul? This means that one can go to hell, to hellfire, by refusing to be of assistance to those whom God has presented in his life for him to help. We'll go for a short break and we'll be back shortly. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. You are welcome back in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Still Daily Charge with Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. And we are still talking about enemies of the family selfishness. The Lord is telling us that selfishness is not good at all. Let us remember our family members. Let us help them. This is the perfect will of God. We are looking at this place, finally, which is the book of Psalm 41, verses 1 to 3. Here, the Lord says, Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. And he shall be blessed upon the earth. And thou wilt not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing. Thou will make all his bed in his sickness. What is the Lord telling us there? The Lord said that anybody in your family or outside your family, that anybody who remembers the poor, who helps the poor and the needy, who helps those that have need, and he has the ability and capacity and capability, and he does so. He said, number one, he said that the Lord will bless that person. I decree upon your life, you are blessed now and you are blessed forever in the name of Jesus Christ. 
He said, the Lord will preserve that person and the Lord will keep him alive. The implication is that the person will live long life till ripe old age, according to the word of God, just because he helped the poor and the needy, whether in his family or outside. He said, the Lord will not deliver him into the hand of his enemies. Why? Because he has been helping the poor and the needy. He said, the Lord will strengthen him when he falls sick. That is because he has been helping the poor and the needy. Remember Dorcas in the Bible. He said, the Lord will heal him. He said, the Lord will make his bed in his sickness. That is, the Lord will heal him quickly and his bed shall be, shall be made and he is healed. That's what the Lord is challenging us. In our families, outside our families, let us be a blessing to others physically and spiritually. God bless his word in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to close your eyes and pray these prayers with me. Pray them loud and clear. I want you to say, Every power assigned to destroy my life, die in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power assigned to destroy my life, die in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power assigned to destroy my life, die in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name, they are dead. I want you to pray again like this. Selfishness shall not, shall have no place in my family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Selfishness shall have no place in my family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Selfishness shall have no place in my family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I want you to pray like this again. Oh Lord, preserve my family by your mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, preserve my family by your mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Preserve my family by your mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, preserve my family by your mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Our Heavenly Father will thank you for your love and your care. Thank you for talking to us, O oh Lord, about selfishness. That selfishness is not good in our lives as individuals and also in our families. Father, as you are giving us your word, we pray that from this moment, the spirit of selfishness will die and be uprooted from every area of our lives in Jesus' name. Every power of stinginess, we command them to die in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your spirit of generosity, your spirit that is willing to share, your spirit that is willing to give to others in need, come upon our lives and the lives of your children all over the world. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.